Yes, my dudes, I'm Alex, and thank you for checking out another Beat Breakdown. So today we're gonna to be looking at Yusuf Kamal, Strings of Light. So Yusuf Days on drums. If we're talking Yusuf Days, we are talking energy. Um, he plays like nobody else. He's just killing the London scene, um, and he's a wicked drummer, man. So I'm really excited to break this one down. So I couldn't, I couldn't decide whether to break down either like a new Yusuf Days track or break down like an older track from Yusuf Kamal, but I thought, let's go for a classic. This one's a bit of a banger. Um, part of the reason I moved to London in the first place was because of the jazz scene here and like how much it's kicking off. So um, I couldn't actually find, because for, for those of you that don't know, Yusuf Kamal, they, they broke up a few years ago. Um, and it was quite tricky to find a good quality live video of Strings of Light. So, I managed to find one posted by um, Universal Vibes TV, which is recorded from the audience of the Jazz Cafe. It's just recorded on the phone. Um, so let's check that out, and then we'll jump into it and see if we can break this thing down. Okay, so you can see why I decided to break down this groove. Just absolute madness on the drums. Um, so full disclaimer before we get started on this, um, this is definitely pushing it for me. It's at the edge of my comfort zone. Um, so it's not my tightest playing, but I wanted to do it anyway because it's a wicked groove and I just thought it'd be fun. Okay, so the track is in 4-4 time. Um, it's 146 BPM. Um, and it, for the most part, it's based around this one bar groove, but then from there, Yusuf Days does a lot of improvisation. So what I've decided to do is to just break down the first eight bars of the track when the drums come in properly. It starts around um, one minute and six, and then we'll, we'll break that down and then we'll talk about some variations and some ways that you can improvise with some of the concepts that Yusuf Days is using. Let's break down the main groove. First things first, we are gonna play a single stroke roll from beat one to the E of beat two. So the orchestration for that is hat, snare, 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 hat, snare. The really important thing here is that we're gonna play an accent on the uh of beat one and the e of beat two, both played with your left stick on the snare drum. Um, so the counting for that would be one e and uh, two e. One e and uh, two e. You just need to play a bass drum with that first hi-hat of your right hand. Um, so let's check it out on the drum kit. I'm gonna play it for you at half speed and then at full speed. So now you've got that down, let's just add three sixteenth notes onto the end, taking us up to beat three of the bar. So you're just gonna play three hi-hats in a row. On the last hi-hat, you also hit your snare drum. Um, this is a pretty simple concept, but as you start to pick up the pace, it gets pretty tricky. So let's try it out again at half speed and then at full speed. From that hi-hat and snare hit on beat three, we're just gonna play a ghost note with our left stick, a hi-hat and bass drum with our right, and then another ghost note on the snare with our left. So it's just four sixteenth notes, three E and uh. The difficult part here is getting that accent on beat three, followed by a ghost note on the E of three with your left hand on the snare. So if you haven't played this before, it's called a control stroke, and just practice playing some grooves where you have that accent followed by the ghost. If you've got it down, let's get straight to the kit and tag it on to the end. All 
on beat four of the bar, we're just gonna repeat a phrase that we used earlier. So we're just gonna play three sixteenth notes on the hi-hat. With our last hi-hat, you hit your snare drum, followed by a ghost note on the snare with your left. So just four sixteenth notes, four E and a, giving us that control stroke again to finish with. So let's see if we can loop the whole bar around a few times at our two different tempos to see how it all sounds so far. If you can play that, then you're a beast. Super fast, man. So that gives us our main groove, and from there, Yusuf Days does a lot of improvisation. But one thing that keeps coming up um, at the start of our eight bar phrase is this fill in the very first bar that kind of leads back into the groove. Okay, so it's just a single stroke roll, um, and we've got a particular accent pattern. So I'll let you have a little read along with the notation, and I'm gonna play it to you at half speed and then we'll take it up to full speed. So we've got our fill in bar one, Bars two to six, we're gonna play our main groove. Um, bar seven is almost the same as bar one. The only difference is you're gonna hit your ride cymbal on beat one, and the dynamics are played slightly different, so it's not really as big of an accent pattern in the fill on the snare drum, it's a little bit more subtle, but other than that, it's just the same, so we can slot that into our seventh bar. Bar eight, we're gonna go into this 16th note phrasing between the bass drum and snare. So the counting for bar eight is gonna be one E and a two E, a three and four E, a. smashed it mate. So now we've got this eight bar section, it actually doesn't stay there for very long. Um, so Yusuf Daisy stays around the same kind of feel, but does a lot of improvising. So one variation that he plays that we could pick out pretty easily is you're just gonna open your hi-hat on beat three of the bar and four and on our main groove where you're playing those snare accents at the end of your groups of three on the hi-hat. So nothing too complicated if you can play the other groove. So let's jump straight to the kit and check it out. The thing with a song like this is that it's all improvised around a theme. So we could sit here all day and learn every bar from the track, but actually, use of days when he goes to play it isn't gonna play it the same twice. So something that I've noticed is that a lot of the fills and the phrasing in the track is based around a single stroke roll, just with pretty like creative accents and ghost notes. So something that I've been experimenting with is just playing a couple bars of our main groove and then a couple bars of improvisation where I mess around with some accents between the hi-hat and the snare drum. So I'm just gonna show you a couple bars of what I've come up with, but of course, get onto your kit and see if you can create some of your own ideas from it.
pretty fun, right? So before I play you out with the backing track, um, just a quick thought. So I teach drums full time in London, and the reason I started making these beat breakdowns is to firstly either challenge myself to learn something difficult or to break down a track that I really like. Um, so I'll probably, for the next few videos, I'm gonna keep focusing on London-based drummers because um, that's where I live and that's what I love. Um, but another reason is because the online drumming community is so sick, man. Um, there's so much knowledge online and there's such like a supportive community. So I just wanted to drop my thoughts in there, as small as they may, may be, just like my own little bit. Um, so if you do go ahead and learn any of the beats that I'm uploading, mate, tag me in it. I would absolutely love to see that. Um, so you can just tag me at, at drumhubtuition um, and I'd love to see your playing because I know that there's some absolute beasts out there. So it would be wicked to see. Um, but on that note, thank you for watching this beat breakdown and um, let's see if we can play Yusuf Kamal, Strings of Light. <laughs>